Would you believe it, eh? The secret of golf, top five. Now, if you had a pound or a dollar for every time you've heard that, you'll be a rich man or a woman. But stick with me, come with me, honestly. Top five secrets of golf, and honestly, honestly, I did this yesterday, this video, but I weren't happy with it. It were in the sun. Today we're in a bit of rain, but don't worry about it. You ready? This will probably lose shots off your handicap. This will suit any golfer in the world. You're gonna love this. Okay, right, I'm Lee from the Golf Mates. 80,000 welcomes to you. So I'm a seven handicapper and I'm not very good in, but, but I think I've found the top five secrets of golf to make you play better and definitely lose your handicap. Now, talking of handicaps, are you ready? If you're coming from the USA, in the USA, the average golf handicap, I think is 14.4, 14, nearly 15. In the UK, Europe, and Australia, it is 16. So you think of that, that's decent golfers. So on this channel though, we've got people from all handicaps. So, what am I trying to say? These people in America could be a single figure handicapper if they listen to these top five secrets. Honest, this is really true and interesting. So, what I would say is this. Number five, in fact, before we go anywhere, I want you to do something. Rate your golf game out of 10. So driving, iron play, short game, course management. I'm gonna give my driving six, iron play five or six, because I'm in between. Short game eight, course management eight. Right, number five, I'm gonna get back to that, so do not let me down, make sure you do it. Number five, here we go, number five. You ready? And bleep, bleep, bleep. And what you've just seen there is a terrible shot. You might be looking at me, think I swung like an octopus. I probably did. But how many people get angry after a bad shot? And I mean that, angry. Now, no one talks about it, and I'm being honest. How many people are angry? Then they'll go to the ball, their head's mashed, and they're going to hit another bad shot. What you've got to do is forget about it. You really have got to forget about it. Now, let's be honest now. That ball was a shank, a scuttle, I don't know. But let's pretend it's out of bounds and I've had to drop one. If I'm angry, I'm gonna hit a bad shot, but imagine if I'm just like, I laugh it off. This is what I do. I laugh it off and I think to myself, okay, it's only one bad shot, no one's died. So number five is gonna be forgetful. You've got to forget your bad shots. Am I gonna hit a good shot? No, probably not, but I'm gonna try. I mean, I can't hit that any better. I wish I had a cameraman with me today. I mean, I'll have to have a zoom in. We'll have to have a cheeky zoom in. I mean, I'm, I don't believe what's just happened, but what I'm trying to say, any handicap of golf, and I mean it, massive, massively, one of the secrets to be better is to forget. Don't sound right that. One of the reasons to be get better is to forget. Forget your bad shot, let it go. Let it go. Just like Frozen, let it go. Honestly, forget your bad shots. Don't let it get angry. That was number five. So that's a great tip, and I mean that, a great tip, because steam, angry, you could, if you just be a bit more maller on the golf course, you will lose shots. Right, I ask you to rate your, your own golf game. I give myself eight out of 10 short games, so I expect this within five foot. But, before, while I'm taking the shot, just rate yourself if you didn't do it again out of 10 and be really, really honest with yourself. 10. Take that. So, if you've rated your own game, you ready? You've either to give yourself driving score, your iron scores, your course management and your short game. But what I'm going to say is this. Putting is a stat for you. I've been up all night getting these stats. If your handicap's from 12 to 24, you average three three putts around, the stats say. You imagine if you just concentrated on your putting, you could lose a shot. 
So war, are you ready? Number four, are you ready? Know your weakness. Find out your weakness and work on it. It's not hard. It could be chipping, putting, iron play or driving. Number four, secret. Shh. Find out your weakness. Okay, golfers, number three is expectations and assess your lie. Now, what I mean by expectations is this. Whatever handicap you are, don't expect to go out and play to it. So here's another stat to you. You ready? You only play to your handicap 33% of the time. So that's like three out of 10, basically. If you go out 10 times, you're only gonna to play to your handicap three times. So, do you get what I'm saying? Just expectations on golf shots, especially your handicap, have them lower and you'll probably play to it more. Right, assessing the lie. So, in fact, straight away, I'm gonna take you over to yesterday's, because this is a great tip, assessing a lie. This is me on the tee yesterday. Okay, I think that's a decent start. Right, I've just said about the chipping, assess your lie. Okay, I've brought you here just because this tee here, at the end here, it's just slightly like that, slightly. So it's giving you not a great, you know, uneven stance. Now, I've come back a bit, we're here, it's nice and flat. Now, I'm not calling the greenkeeper or anything, it's just lie of the land. But if you look, look how many people, like you can see me going down here. Look how many people have thought, hey up, I've got to pinch as close as I can. That's not going to make any difference, but I've got a nice flat stance here. Do you get me? I, it's a little, little, little bit of having a nosy can make a big difference. It's give you a better chance of hitting a good shot. Right. So as you can see, that's a great tip. I accept, you know, I watched and looked at my lie. If I went to the T forward, it will lower. So here we go. You can see how vicious this is uphill, right? So normally I chip with one club, but I can't now because if I chip with my approach wedge, which is 50 degree, with this lie, it's probably making it like a 60 because it's uphill, the loft is up. So I'm assessing my lie. So now I've got an eight iron. I'm not saying I'm going to pull the shot off, but it's the right club because now it's loft, no, I've de-lofted the lie. I mean, if you can see that, if it hits that hill, I mean, that's some one take wonder that. I'm, a, I'm not going to tell you what handicap I am, I'm seven, but I'm having a lot of fun at the moment. And I think it's all due to something coming shortly. But assess the lie. Just think if you're really bad in the rough, assess it. Before you take the shot, just assess it. Have a minute. You might be 150 yard out and you might always hit a seven iron 150. But if it's sat down really in the rough, you're not going to get there. Or if it's sat on top as a flyer, you might need like an eight iron. So just assess your lie. Tip number three of these top secret golf tips, what you've never heard before, I think. Okay, number four. It's golf is all about this whatever level so i used to be a caddy on the european tour and this is it you ready confidence confidence probably could be the biggest one you've got to commit and be confident to a shot right so right to left out of bounds right and left now i don't mind saying it i feel like i've found something which is confidence and i'm feeling really good about my game at the moment so i've got Pin's about 140, I've got eight tone, it might go a little big, it might not, but I'm going to try and start it right at the green, near the outer bounds, hoping the wind brings it in, but be confident, if that makes sense. I might do it, I might not. If I don't do it and duff it, go back to number one. Don't get mad. But confidence is massive. You've got to like, Daniel Gavin said, give yourself some confidence, look at the shot, think of a shot tracer line where you want the ball. It's, it's gold dust for me, I've never thought about that, but I have been doing it and it's working. So I'm thinking of a shot tracer line on that tree down there and if the wind brings it, brilliant. If not, it'll stay. But, proof's in the pudding, but if I could be confident and shut up. Midge is thin, now the wind's got it and it's right near pin. I mean, I'll zoom in in a minute, uh, and that weren't the best strike. Do you know what? I don't care because I was confident, committed to the shot. I ain't gonna swing nice all the time. I can't, it's not, it's not in my jeans. Like I said, my irons, my driver, they're like five or six out of 10. So to be confident to them could actually make it be seven out of 10, just believing in yourself.
Now I've started that right, pushed it, wind's brought it in. There, and it's on the hill. So, perfect. I've started it a bit further where I wanted, but I was confident. Did I execute it? No, I didn't. Is there a problem? No. Has anyone died? No. Do you try and see what I mean? Confidence is massive. I'll prove the point. I'm going to go to that ball. I said of my short game, I'll be confident of getting that up and down. I might not. I might do. This is a high stroke index. I won't have a stroke on here, but you've got to be confident. Because if you're not confident, you're just going to see all the danger and be panicking. Right, I make sure I've got to commit. I'm happy with that shot. I committed. Just pushed it. But the confidence takes away danger. Okay, confidence. I said it's massive. Look at that. Perfect. So they're both similar distance, so I'm happy with that. So I've got my 60 and my gap wedge. And it's in a little bit of a muddy, there's a bit of mud there. Right, so, have to be confident here. I rated myself a short game. I don't want to see this here. All I want to do is see it over there. So I did think I'd go over the bunker, I didn't. So I've got my gap wedge. See your shot. Be confident of seeing your shot. In fact, see all them big leaves there, because it is windy as out. That's perfect there. And just be confident, just see it and hit it and be really confident because if you're confident, you'll commit. If you commit, you'll do well. I'll tell you that. Up it is. I tell you, I'm on fire at the moment. I can't wait for it come tomorrow. I am going to concentrate like anything. So, number four, confidence. It is massive. And I mean massive. You know, all these little tips, if you like them, Thank you, drop us a like, subscribe if you want to be a golf mate. It's free, there's loads of fun content. These are just some I've been listening to different people. Right, the last secret of golf, and this secret of golf has not come from me, it's come from, are you ready? Raphael Jacqueline. So he's a French European tour player, and I think he's, they call him the granddaddy. He's been on tour, I think 30 years. Right, so, I was caddying at Belgium, and he played with us in a, like a practice round, and the commentator come over and said, oh, you're with a granddaddy. I said, what do you mean? Oh, he said, he's one of the longest on the European tour. So when we were chatting, I said to him, so how long have you been on the European tour? He told me how many successive seasons where he's never had to get his card back. And I said, well, why are you so consistent? And he says to me, what I'm gonna to say to you, always take the easy option. Sounds simple, doesn't it? Do you do it yourself? Probably not. Do I do it myself? No. Example here. Par five, we've hit a great drive. We're bang on 200 yards, uphill, so it's playing 220. The wind is right to left and into a bit. Can I get my driving iron there? No. So I've got a nine iron and my driving iron. Easy options. What should I do? Just pop my nine iron there, it'll be the flat 100 yards in. If that, easy. Do you take the easy option? No. So, here we go. I'm gonna take option hard. My ability, I don't think I can do this and I shouldn't be trying. Terrible shot and that's close to going in the water. So, option one, which is a hard shot, high tariff, not on the green. I've actually landed on the hill, so I've got a chip like that, which you don't want and if I would have pulled it, it was in the trees. European tour player for a long, long time, playing percentage, you could call it boring, like old man Pat. Lay up, nine iron, so wedge distance. Get the divot in a minute. Now, does that make sense? Always take the easy option. Sounds so, so simple, but if you, if you did always take the easy option, your handicap will come down, your scores will come down. But it might not be as much fun. Right, I hope them five secrets can help you. Honestly, getting angry, no one talks about, is massive, you can lose shots with that, definitely. Find out your weakness, whatever it may be, and work on it. Mine's irons, I'm gonna work on it. Like I said about putting, if it's putting, just be careful with them stats. If you're having three putts, Per round, if you can lose one of them, if it means 10 minutes on the putting green before you go out, it's a shot. You know, you could be a 10 handicapper, no, you could be a nine. Do you know what I mean? Also, assess your line. Always assess your lie. Definitely, just keep an eye. And honestly, I think that one there, 
and confidence they're massive confidence is massive but also pick the easy options which i like right i've been liam harrison thank you for watching there's a little message here for a birthday hi dad happy birthday i've just got archie here we wanted to wish you the best day and i hope you really enjoy your presence in your party i know it's been a really tough year for everyone but hopefully we can still have some fun on your birthday love you lots bye how cool was that hope my daughters do that for me so well done sir right golf mates comment below what do you think it sounds easy but would you put this into practice at weekend when you're playing golf because this i'm going to get this video out today i'm going to edit this and put it out because I'm in a big comp tomorrow, I'm going to try. Hopefully you, and you can comment below. Also, if you're coming from America, please do me a favour. In the UK, our handicap systems is like, you play in a comp, then it moves. But do you mark your own cards, and your handicap can go up and down? I need to know, is it like every five rounds, you reassess your handicap? I might be wrong, but just let me know. So golf mates, have a great weekend. Five top secrets of golf, what will improve your game or your money back. Because the contest is free, you can't have any money back, but trust me, it'll do. See you tomorrow.